How are you doing? We finally made it here. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the Run to the Sun Car Show. This is one amazing event. I'm going to start this video off by telling you that there's over 3,200 cars here. I really want to show you all 3,200 plus cars. It's just not going to happen at this show. There are just so many cars to see and they're just rows and rows and they just keep on going. I'm going to show you a mixture of hot rods, custom street rides and muscle cars on this video. I hope you all watch it, you all enjoy it. There's a lot here, and let's get started with the Run to the Sun car show from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Let's get in there and see some cars. Columbia, South Carolina. South Carolina, wow. Yeah. Very nice. Then I come in, uh, this is my second year coming to the show. Beautiful show. The detail of some tires, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, you gotta keep it shiny. Nice and shiny. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Garmin, I'm from York, Pennsylvania. Uh, we drive our 55 Chevy, we call it Juicy. 
uh, Juicy, I'll uh, be 18 years old in May, and right now we have almost 80,000 miles on it, and we drive over the United States. We've been to 38 states in the United States. We've been to California, Texas, New Mexico. Uh, we travel uh, up to the Good Guys shows in Iowa, travel with the Good Guys to Columbus, and uh, we're glad to be back here at the Run to the Sun. We've had Juicy here before. Uh, we had a watermelon truck that was on the t-shirt one time at the, um, uh, 10 years ago actually, when we had the watermelon truck here. So we've been here to run the sun several times and uh, Juicy has a 350, a Tremec 5 speed in. If you follow us on Facebook, I post videos all over the United States when we're traveling. I post videos of the shows, uh, cars. Oh, and,
Hey, my name is Wayne Murphy. I'm from Ridgeway, South Carolina. This is my grandmother's 1971 Nova. Yeah, my grandmother bought this vehicle in 1974. She was the second owner. And it has been passed through the couple of uncles and a cousin. Uh, my cousin, uh, she's very emotional, very sentimental to the car. She used to ride around in it when she was, you know, young, young child. She asked for the original plate and I went on, I went on eBay and found one to duplicate it while I could ride around and tell about my grandchildren. So, so how many grandchildren did she have? Seven children, five boys and two girls. Wow, huh? quite the so, fair one. Yeah, big family. So back then, was she driving around with the grandkids in the back seat? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I have at least one memory of her coming to pick me up at school, because I got sick at school and she came to pick me up in this car. That's up. Well, the color as we see it today, this is the original color. That's the original color, Ascot Blue. So what body style would this be for normal? This would be a two-door post car. Which 68 to 72 is this uh, body style. The uh, they call it the second gen. Wayne, tell me a little about the the interior of your Nova. The interior has been redone, but that's the original seat. It's been recovered. All the original. That's the original uh, steering wheel cover that she had in her car that I took out. The original centerpiece is in the middle. That's the original door panels. The original headliner. A lot of original. We try to keep as much original to the car as possible. Uh, obviously, some stuff had to be replaced, like the carpet. But this is about as plain as you can get. Okay. Uh, just uh, automatic power. I mean, uh, roll down manual windows, manual door locks, everything. It's just this is about as basic as you can get. Did grandma like AC? Grandma did not like AC. I like AC. Roll down. No, the roll down the windows. <laughs> yeah, she did the 255. So that's what she liked. The uh, the tires have been changed up a little bit. It did come with steel wheels that were 14 inch. There's 15 on it now. It, she had original hubcaps, which I still own to this day, but I wanted the hubcap look. I wanted the sleeper look. So we went with the uh, dog dish hubcaps on the on the steel wheels. Probably got a lot better of a ride too. A lot better ride, yes sir. This is a, uh, what everybody's doing now, but it's a 5.3. LS motor with a 4L60 transmission. I wanted something reliable. I could drive it across the United States, get on the interstate, beat it up pretty good where the reliability. It had a straight six with a two-speed two power glide, so we had to we had an 86 that. I still got the motor transmission. I didn't get rid of it, so.
name is Mike Pisano. I live here in Myrtle Beach, um, South Carolina. I'm originally from New Jersey until about four and a half years ago. Uh, and I've had this car, took the 57 for 45 years this past February. Um, bought it when I was barely 21, I guess 20 years old. And uh, it's been my love affair since I was for 45 years. When I bought it, it was, uh, it was a retired drag car. It was a junior stock drag car. Been sitting in the barn for like seven or eight years. So I put it on the road uh, for a brief period of time, like that. It had Trenton Speed Shop on the back quarter panel. And I put the 283 together along with my brother Joe helped me put a 283 uh, in the car, the transmission, Turbo 400. And uh, I drove it around for a little bit. And then that summer, I bought it in February, that summer, took it to the body shop and had it repainted dark blue. And um, after that, it, I guess it was uh, 80, about 1979 to 84. Uh, it was like that. I drove it on the street, had Kragers on it, and I decided I wanted to pro street it, put the big fat tires on the bottom. A friend of mine, uh, we spent about six months doing it in his, uh, his garage. We narrowed the, cut the frame out, narrowed it, narrowed the rear, built the tubs for the rear uh, in the trunk area to house the 16 inch wide tires. It was uh, actually called Target Blue. It was a dark blue off of, of a uh, 70 Corvette. And it stayed like that until uh, 1986. And um, it went in the body shop for a full restoration, so to speak. Stripped it down, took everything apart, blew it apart, left it on the frame, but blew all the parts off of it, everything out of it. And uh, my body man made this hood, hood scoop that's on here out of steel. It's all handmade steel. Um, and painted it this color, which is called iridescent blue. It's actually a, a Mopar, a Dodge color. It's been like that since it came out of the body shop in early 87. Well, Mike, tell me a little bit about the, the interior. You really preserved the period here, 57. Okay, well, uh, there's a little mix of old and new in here, but mostly old. Uh, the seats, seat covers, door panels, uh, the rug actually all done back in 1978, 79, that era there. Um, the uh, dashboard, as you can see, it's got all original uh, gauges, you know, factory stuff in the dashboard. I added oil pressure, water temp, and an amp gauge underneath. Keep track of the uh, engine vitals and a, uh, a sun tack on the dashboard. That's uh, about 45 years old also, the tack. And that's where the tack was mounted when I bought it because it was a race car. And that's where they mounted them back in the 60s and 70s. Um, right on the dash, they didn't care about drilling holes. And uh, so that's where you can see it the easiest. And the, the can of paint you see there with the brush, that's a, um, a little uh, thing I made as because I'm a pinstriper as a hobby and I do it on the side. Well, the heater you're pointing at there, that's a, was a deluxe heater option um, that had vents and uh, inside, outside air, you would let air through the venting system into the car. The uh, Bel Airs, you could get that in any car, but they came standard in the Bel Airs. Uh, which says this is a two-door sedan Bel Air. Mike, does the clock still work? It, it does. Yeah, you can see the second hand moving, and that's never been restored. That's the original 57 clock. Me and my brother put this in the car in 1985 long time ago after the uh, little 283 uh, was tired out and I needed to take it out. The unique thing about having this engine or the actually the carburation which you're looking at is a twin side draft Weber carburetors. Um, you don't see this set up on V8 engines. Uh, they were originally used, side draft carburetors were used on um, Triumphs, uh, any kind of English European type cars. Either two of them on a four cylinder or three on a six cylinder. And about 20 years ago, I, uh, I installed these, comes with the adapter that's in the center there that bolts to the manifold and they're on an angle uh, to the motor because of the, the original manifold that I have on there is a uh, old Edelbrock manifold that turns the carburetor sideways so it gives it more of a unique look too. Mike's a 57, your car is? 55. 55. 150. And the way we're seeing the car today is it pretty much the way it has been since new or have you changed things up on it? It's been done over three different times since 1980. But, uh... It's my car. 
back to 1981. This is uh, Doug's car. And we were in a club, and we, like I said before, and we ended up in a magazine, a national magazine for the uh, National 55, 6, and 7 club. And this was uh, a feature article. And so basically, uh, these cars have been, you know, together, like I said earlier, for many, many years. But they haven't been together physically since uh, probably the late, the early 90s. But this was a cool article back, uh, you know, 43 years ago. Nice four speed. Five speed. Five speed. Wow. Five speed. Cruiser. This is a cruiser. You need that when you drive 500 miles up from Florida.
Hey, Buck, how you doing? Doing great. How about you? Great. So this is a 54 Mercury Monterey. Very unique. Yes. And uh, it shows beautifully. Tell me a little bit about the emblem. That's kind of unique. The emblem was in the 50s, with the beginning of space age and electronic things. And, and so they, Mercury came out with it. Mercury and represented a man with a helmet and a streak of lightning through his helmet. And it shows it in various pictures throughout the car, in front of the steering wheel and things like that. That's where he got his neck. Now, I've got a new motor in it, and uh, we've got uh, automatic overdrive transmission, yep. but everything else is standard. How long have you owned the car? Four years. Oh, four years, okay. And I gotta ask, Run to the Sun, this is my first time here. How many years have you been going to this show? Four years. Four years. Very nice to meet you. Nice Thank you very much. You. We appreciate your coverage. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.
Dan Boer.